Conditions at Atlantic City's largest public housing complex plagued with heat and hot water problems. And all of this comes just one day after the mayor there described the living conditions as inhumane. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in Atlantic City right now where inspectors went door to door today, first thing this morning, getting started early doing their assessment. Madeline, what can you tell us? Good evening, Natasha Yuki. Inspectors are planning to look at all 420 units here at Stanley Homes Village so they can create an inventory of exactly how many units are lacking heat and hot water or have issues with mold or pests. Then, as early as Monday, the city will send those results to the Atlantic City Housing Authority, which manages this complex, to fix the problems or face fines. Just a minute. Rhonda Lewis was sitting in her living room when Atlantic City inspectors came to examine her home. That's fine with me. As long as they do what they got to do, fix whatever's broken. Her apartment is among 110 units at Stanley Homes Village that the city inspected on Wednesday. They used a handheld thermometer to check the temperature in every room. 70 degrees living room. Your uh, heater's working. While the heat and hot water are on now, Lewis says it's been on and off. Last month we had like three and a half weeks without heat and hot water. Lewis resorted to using her oven to generate warmth. Another problem she's had, roaches and mice. Inspectors documented that, took photos of suspected mold, and checked the fire alarm. It's a joint effort by the Departments of Licensing and Inspections and Health and Human Services. We will be combining the, um, the results together and we'll get that over to the mayor. It's HUD's responsibility, but if we found and we did find that they were not performing properly, then, then we decided to take action. HUD says the aging property has had challenges with its antiquated boiler system. In a statement, the agency says the Atlantic City Housing Authority fixed, repaired, replaced boilers at Stanley Homes the week of November 14th. However, the cast iron pipes used to transport the heat and hot water have continued to fail. How about just give them, just have just build a whole new system instead of keep using the old one? Stanley Homes is scheduled to be torn down and rebuilt, but officials say it's a process that could take four to five years. In the meantime, some families have been offered vouchers to relocate. The city is planning to be back here tomorrow to continue the inspections. Live in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Madeline Wright, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, hopefully, they rectify those problems quickly. Thank you very much, Madeline. Well, police are hoping.